This year, Tater Art Projects had the chance to reveal our art program for Canopy Philadelphia, a boutique hotel located in the 122-year-old Stephen Gerrard building, anchoring the city's East Market hub. TAP collaborated with interior designer Avroco to curate the art collection and installations. Consisting of custom and site-specific artworks throughout the public spaces and guest suites, the program activates the historic building and creates impactful experiences for guests and visitors. A significant cornerstone of the art curation is in its strength to communicate a sense of place within every facet of the interior. Working with local artists was of utmost importance in order to reflect the neighborhood's lively characteristic. Among these artists include Nate Harris, who is featured in various areas of the hotel, and most prominently through his mural in Canopy's Wayward Restaurant. The work depicts Philadelphia's unique culture and the artist's own self-expression. Here's our conversation on his work and process throughout this project. Um, it was really important for us at Tater Art Projects to bring a sense of locality into the curation. And your art in particular has quite a presence in Philadelphia, whether it be through mural work, event posters, um, and local exhibitions. It's also been said that your work can be immediately identified as part of the visual fabric of the city. So considering that relationship between art and place, how much does locality and placemaking inform your work? Philadelphia is a really great city. Um, it's almost like, you know, like a very, it's very much a maker city and that really allows me to experiment. Whereas maybe if I was living somewhere else, I'd feel a little bit more confined. So it's really important for you and your work that knowing A, the environment, but also the energy and kind of pulse of the city also motivates your work as well. Yeah, for sure. You know, one of the things that I try to communicate through my work is that balance of figurative, um, you know, we're all living in a city, this very man-made um, place and there is such a contrast between being a human in this uh, very linear and geometric place and I, I think I like try to investigate what that looks like. What was the process like for creating this project from concept to completion? Um, well a lot of my projects start similarly in the sense that I I create a few directions and it gets whittled down through the process. At the same time, it was a very different project in the sense that I have never done anything like this before. <laughs> that was really exciting. And I think the challenge was translating um, my woodcut design, which this um, sort of pattern and this, this design came from early woodcut experiments. And so, the challenge for me was making all the geometry line up and that required so much more math than I <laughs> would ever be doing. How important is it for you that your art is accessible? Because I feel like um, what's made it so prolific in Philadelphia is the uh, ability to have that reach. You know, I have a graphic design background um, and I think naturally from that I went into illustration. The work you typically do as an illustrator, it, it reaches very far and it's, and it's almost the opposite of something very precious. Having this new sort of like, when I'm not illustrating, um, developing my practice in art, that allows me to sort of have the opposite end of the spectrum. Thank you so much for our conversation today. And it was a real pleasure to get more insight about what your process is like. Yeah, thank you. Pleasure to speak.